bought this small dust brush for 150 bucks a week ago, and I thought I'd make a short video comparing this one to my big one, what I like and don't like about this one. The best feature of this thing has got to be the price. I only paid $150 for it, and it has a 1 horsepower sealed motor on it, although at only 7.4 amperes, I'm not quite sure if it's quite 1 horsepower, but it's still, it's a good motor, and it's got the switch right on there. And if I had to buy this motor separately, it would probably cost me twice as much as the whole dust collector. It has a 4 inch port, but unfortunately with this protective screen on there to prevent large debris from damaging the impeller. And that's a bit of a problem, because if you ran this with a planer, that would get plugged up in no time. The blower is a bit on the small side, and I measured the pressure from it, and it only does about 17 centimeters, that's about 6 to 7 inches of head. Whereas this one here will do 20 centimeters or about 8 inches of head, so this one has quite a bit more suction than this one. The airflow on this one is alright though. It has this plastic bag for catching the shavings and getting that on there with a strap is really quite difficult. So maybe also not a good idea for planar shavings because it's just too hard to empty this. The filter bag is quite good though. It's a 1 micron filter bag. And I tested it with my air quality monitor, and after I used it a bit and sort of seasoned the filter, that is, get lots of sawdust embedded in it, it's gotten quite good at filtering out microparticles. The unit came with some casters that were meant to be mounted underneath here, and not even all the way in the corner. In fact, the uh, mounting holes seem to be fairly inconsistently placed, so I think they just put those on there freehand. Um, it would have been way too tippy with the wheels under here, so I put these boards on here to essentially put the wheels on outriggers and that way when you push it around it's not going to tip on you. The unit didn't include any hose so I had to buy this hose separately for $25 and that came with this plate for putting it on a machine. I added a dust port to my homemade table saw so I can hook up the dust collector like this. So when I turn it on it really sucks a lot of air in the front. The filter is quite effective at catching the microparticles, so right now I have about 3600 and 1400 on the fine and coarse count, and let's turn it on. And now as we're getting more air coming out of the bag, you can see the particle counts on here dropping. But compared to this big one, the, uh, this one cleans the air much more, so let's give this one a few seconds. The thing I don't like so much about this one is that the dust really has nowhere to settle, so some of it just keeps getting swirled around. So I made this uh, cross-shaped piece in here to try to slow down the wind towards the bottom, but I'm not sure if it's working all that well. So here's a cool test, dust collector versus dust collector. So I've got the small one sucking out of the big one, but the big one's not turned on. So now let's turn on the big one. Show you what happens. As you can see, the big one is able to outsuck the small one. And the irony is this supposedly has a one horsepower motor, and the big one only has a three-quarter horsepower motor. But the big one sucks better, so it must have a much better, more efficient impeller on it. Now with the little one turned off, the big one sure is good at sucking that small one empty. I made a sort of vacuuming nozzle for it, because one of the things I wanted to do was to suck the very fine dust off of a garage floor. After vacuuming the floor, I realized I had a bit of a leak where the bag had attached, so uh, that's a definite downside of this type of dust collector. But overall, for 150 bucks, I really can't complain.